Welcome back. This will be uh, our third day running the Great Race. And um, I'm trying to do this race in one fell swoop here. So for me, it's uh, just continuing from the last video. Uh, yesterday we made, um, I guess, almost 5,000 blocks. We made 4,000 the first day. So we are 9,000 blocks out. Uh, we're in a boat and we're off. Um, the goal of the Great Race is to make the farthest distance east of any of the competitors. Um, we cannot um, harm any passive mobs, uh, so no killing animals, but as you can see I'm holding my bacon, so um, <laughs> that uh, rule was slightly modified uh, because of December holidays. Um, Michael Deering, who sets these challenges up for us. Um, oh my goodness, <laughs> boats are weird. Um, allows is allowing us to um, have one uh, one holiday meal, and uh, our holiday meal is going to be some pork. So I was able to kill one. Uh, pig. I got three steaks from that pig, three pork chops, and I will be fired up to use those. All right, put these in the hot bar. I'm going to grab some more wood here quickly. I feel like harvesting this is faster than grabbing the carving bench back. All right, and we're off. Whew. So we had an ocean biome there, but it really didn't last us very long. Our first ocean trip was quite a long sail. Um, and I've noticed uh, we have drifted off the z-axis, the north-south axis, by about 170 blocks. So I'll be making my way back, I guess, to the south, because it's positive z. Uh, I'll be making my way back north towards the zero axis during this episode as well. Oh, I was thinking I should make a boat right back there, and it looks like the answer was yes, I should have. Darn it. But I need to get back this way anyway. Let's take advantage of that mistake, or live with our mistake. Aim back towards the zero axis. Really not trying to pause to get any resources, but when there's sugarcane sitting right in front of me, I just can't resist. And we're off and running again. And you'll notice I'm taking a fairly aggressive route about just going ahead and sprinting and uh, hoping that when the landscape allows it to go as fast as I can, hoping that my food holds out. I think it's a good trade-off, we'll see. Mushrooms, yes. The red ones tend to be more rare. I'm going to go ahead and sprint here and then decide whether to go get some more mushrooms from this forest or not. Let's just check real quick here. Let's see, we have... Gosh, we still have a lot. When I sprint, it does. they do go fast. Let's go ahead and grab some. way we just will not be uh, worried about eating mushroom stew at all. Let's go up and grab this red mushroom. 
mushroom, and then we'll get back in our way. Set the red ones seem to be more rare. And here's a large red mushroom, and I hate going the wrong way. I feel like I'm going west right now. I think I'm pretty sure I'm going west. the end of the race. <laughs> and we're back. Now we didn't do a very good job of getting north. We actually got a little further south. Let's get back on track here. Oh gosh, I have a feeling uh, this third episode is not going to be my farthest uh, reaching day, but who knows. <laughs> I guess the rest of the day could go better. It's pretty funny because I would say in Minecraft, um, I, before I started playing the Hardcore Challenge, might have made Mushroom Stew once just because I had never made Mushroom Stew before. <laughs> and in these challenges it is so critical to survival. I might eat nothing else except that and my holiday meal this entire race. One in the hot bar here. <coughs> Made a sword. I guess I could end up getting trapped somewhere where I absolutely needed it, but I feel like this is basically about not starving to death. Therefore, my mushroom stew is the most important. <laughs> I love that. Trying to jump into the water and hit the one block sticking out. Fantastic. Okay. Well, running in the rain keeps cool at least. stretches where we can just sprint, sprint, sprint with no stopping. I feel like we're making great progress. And there's that. I see a big wall ahead. <laughs> sure you do too. It's really interesting to see how we get over it. stop, make some more mushroom soup. We definitely want to do that before it gets dark out, and we are forced to um, run for our lives again. It's just checking our coordinates here. We're still about 100 blocks south of... Yeah, or, uh, yeah, south of uh, the coordinates. We're almost back to it now, though. Seems like heading that way is a better idea right now.
this running and eating, I'm eating at a much faster rate than I thought I would. First day, I guess I just didn't sprint very much. I think the next time we find one of those roof forests, I'm going to stop and just get a stack. Try to get a real couple of stacks of each kind of mushroom so we can have a full inventory of uh, mushroom stew before every night so I don't worry about fall damage and sprinting. It's probably worth standing around and collecting those mushrooms to get that done. Hmm. Here, skeleton. I see a skeleton. Just run past a skeleton. Okay, it's turning to night. I'm going to uh, go ahead and make that crafting table. Mm -hmm. Put that down. Put my mushroom stew down. Get rid of blocks I don't mm -hmm. need. Definitely want to keep these. Don't want that. Don't want that. I do want crafty data, yes. Okay. Let's get away from here. Okay. Alright, and we're on tonight. Now I've got to stop being careful. Don't know why I just walked past that mushroom. I do need to grab some more blocks. Let's go ahead and collect these. Come on. I wish these chickens would lay eggs. They just don't seem to do it. And the rain will not stop. <laughs> I guess when I watch other people's episodes, it will be raining this night too. Um, right here the seeds work. The weather, I think, is part of the seed in certain areas of the map, so I believe that's the way it worked, at least. I noticed in the Supermax challenge, um, there seemed to be overcast uh, in the desert and raining in the plains on episode 3 or 4 of everyone's days. Make sure we're going east, yes. <laughs> that would be terrible. It's a bad feeling we weren't headed the right way. Wow, the food goes fast when you sprint. <laughs> okay, yes. Um, looking at an enemy would also be a bad idea. He jumps in front of you. I'm not sure if there's much I can do to prevent it. Skeleton shoots me. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Creeper. Zombie. I'm already down hearts from the skeleton. Trapped by this fish. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Whew. Tight spots. <laughs> Get yourself in some tight spots. Let's sprint past these guys for sure. Okay, um, does he see me? Of course he sees me, I'm in my crafting bench. Let's go. sure this is an ocean biome and I was hoping to get this crafting bench down and make a boat, but uh, of course there was a creeper there. And 
we're off sailing again. Yes, ocean biome. Heading due east. I think we'll keep the uh, F3 up while we're heading east across the ocean. So everyone has a little frame of reference. Where we are. Both things are loading slowly in my world right now. Even though I turned down the render distance, boats tend to be extremely glitchy. Okay. This is kind of a nice little bonus part of a river here. <laughs> so, of course, I get set back about 10 15 blocks every time the boat breaks. So many chickens and no eggs. As I've said many times, I'm not exactly waiting around for the eggs to uh, spawn. Definitely feel like my game is lagging more and more as I head from spawn. Okay, skeleton. Trees was definitely the way to go there. Oh gosh. Not mean to fall out of the tree there. Um, yeah, I can get out over here. Also, it does seem like stuff is spawning more and more in front of me. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. <laughs> Flash three or four minutes of every episode uh, is definitely where I'm going to die at some point. <laughs> okay. Almost did it at the beginning of this episode. I feel like it would be very easy to do at the end as well. Kind of sigh and go, oh, the night's going to be over, and boom. like another ocean biome coming up here. Good and bad of the small biomes. And, uh, I really am being inefficient here. I should make a crafting bench. Make a bunch of crafting benches all at once. Oops. Took a screenshot. All right. Well, we're at 12,200, so um, if we can get to 13,000, it will be the same. Whoa! Looks like I'm going off the edge of my the earth here. Actually, uh, I'm going to even take my render distance down and my graphics to fast. The boats are definitely the way to go, but um, we're making progress across the world here. I don't know that my computer or my graphics card can handle it. <laughs> we are 13, almost 13,000 blocks from spawn now.
in a while. I think this is uh, a great tactic. Now that I'm deep in my third video, and I'm, you know, this is what I was thinking about. Uh, every block in the Nether is 16 blocks in the Overworld, so someone would only have to get a thousand blocks in the Nether to get to here. Seems like whoever wins the race phew, might actually take that tactic. That would be my guess. Now that I've run the race, but I was too chicken to try it. Okay, well that's the uh, end of the episode. It just became day three. So we'll see how we do next time in the great race. <laughs>